Well, proper Liverpool legend. Uh, Ian Rush is one of the many Liverpool legends who were in town for tomorrow night's big game. So many great Irish players, so many great former Liverpool players, all for such an incredible cause. It, it, it seems as though it's setting up for a, a pretty special night. Yeah, it's going to be a great night. Uh, you know, any Legends game that you play in is it's always great. Uh, but we've got uh, Legends from Liverpool and Republic of Ireland, and it's going to be fantastic. But as you say, it's for, for one great cause. And, uh, you know, it's going to be um, absolutely amazing. So hopefully everyone can get along there, you know, and, and support uh, Sean as well. You've met Sean's wife, Martini. You've met the family. So you've got a good sense of, of what they're going through and the, the battle that they're facing. Yeah, I think sometimes that goes unnoticed. Uh, and every time I've met her, you know, she's very positive. You know, she's so strong and everything and all that. But, you mu you know, it must be difficult for her because uh, she's there morning, noon and night at, by your side yeah. and all that. And it's, it's weirdly the piece people don't talk about that there is a minute by minute hour by hour part of this that they have to somehow get through yeah that's what i'm saying and uh, you know if um, i'm sure if uh, if she wasn't like that uh, no sean wouldn't be in the position he is today mm. because he's she's giving him the strength saying listen you can you can do it you can do it and yes sean's got to do it himself but he needs that support now we're here to support as uh, you no know, as playing the game and as a player and that's the easy thing for us you know the hardest thing is his family and uh, everyone in the sean cox foundation everyone they're the, the hard work that goes on behind the scenes you know, uh, but it's great when you when you see the hard work behind the scenes uh, to see that what I seen this morning um, of Sean, nobody posted up for today. Uh, that was uh, absolutely amazing, and that's going to give all the players a massive lift and all that. It just goes to show uh, with all the hard work, you know, where uh, good things can happen. Maybe we shouldn't be surprised, but it is a pretty remarkable thing what football supporters, Liverpool, Irish, I think football supporters in general have done over the past year, the way they've come together. The sense it could have been anybody as to what happened Sean Cox. The, the level of fundraising has been pretty remarkable. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And uh, like, like you said there, you know, Liverpool, we, we do see ourselves as a special club. You know, uh, we see ourselves as one big family club. And if a family member gets hurt, you have to help them. You know, but uh, I'd like to see it, if it had been... Any other club, no, uh, any other supporter, no, any other club, but I'd hope to say they'd do the same because, uh, you know, I'd like to see the um, people at the game tomorrow, not just Liverpool supporters, I'd like to see every Liverpool, uh, every supporter come and support it because it could happen at their club and all that. And uh, hopefully, um, that, 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 that club, um, they would sort of um, help out as well. Kenny Duglish is over to manage the side as well. Are you in his ear? I'm starting, boss. Uh, not at the moment, because um, after my, I just had a knee operation, so uh, oh, no. so I had a knee operation a couple of weeks ago. So I'll um, I'll be managing with Kenny, but uh, I I don't know. I'm hoping to see when the physios come in, I can run. But it's turning, <laughs> and that's a, the problem. So uh, it's like having a fitness test. <laughs> it's like a spot <laughs> kick. Maybe you can run on and yeah, take that. It's like having a fitness test. Really, I don't know if I'm going to play. You've got to see the physio. But yeah. I remember I was at the uh, the Legends game a couple of weeks ago when I couldn't play in that, so I managed with Kenny the team and all that and, and it, it's nothing worse than and you've been there you want to get on the pitch yeah. and I was uh, it, yeah, it's great managing with Kenny and all that there but you want to try and get out on that pitch and uh, the, the best thing is playing and uh, the second best thing is managing so uh, and it, I did get a bit frustrated actually because I couldn't get on the pitch and all that but maybe I'll notice tomorrow whether I can do or not but uh, no, I think it's um, I'm, I'm, like everything. I've not played at the Beaver. I played at Lansdowne, <laughs> you know. So the least you can say, um, you know, I played at the Beaver, you know, that. But uh, but, uh, but something. yeah, it does. Yeah, to me, I want to. I want to play at everyone, every because they're all updated now, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, <laughs> they're all on the, the, the the pitches are perfect. Yeah, you know, and say, and that's what it all comes down to. So you walk on the pitch. I walked in Anfield uh, two weeks. Ago, I was thinking, God, I'd love to play on this pitch. It's like a this carpet and all that, and the Beaver will be fantastic as well. So uh, we'll, we'll know a bit more in the morning. Yeah, Sunday will be. A big day at Anfield as well possibly Liverpool's biggest game since five years ago in that match against Chelsea and Steven Gerrard slip and all that how do you compare this team with, with that team and maybe even the Rafa Benitez team of, of 09 the other teams that have contended yeah it seems to got close but I think this team is uh, maybe a little bit closer uh, you can add that then I don't think Chelsea are as strong as it were uh, you know, when they uh, when they stopped us winning the league uh, they've got one massive player Hazard who's, mm. he's absolutely unbelievable he's a massive danger to us and all that but I just feel I feel um, there's a sense where I think the players now think they can win the league. You know, I think maybe about a month or so where you're thinking, oh, maybe we can, maybe we can't. But I think now they, they, they must be thinking they can win the league. And people say to me, are Liverpool going to win, win the league? And I say, why not? Well, the top of the league, so why, why can't they? So I think the game against Southampton was unbelievable for me because they went from 1-0 down and to win 3-1. And 
to play Southampton away, it's no easy game at yeah. all. No and, easy game. And for Mo Salah to get the goal as well, having had that barren run, like as a striker, you'll have had those spells where you're rushing it. Like there was a sense that he'd become a little bit greedy at times, that he was he was just trying that little bit too hard. Yeah. Was that your sense watching him? And was that the first time you'd really seen that? And, and what do you do? Like, is there anyone that often wonder in that situation? Like, can a coach help you? Can anyone help you? Or is it is it all in your own head? It's it's in your own head. I think you know. I I went through the same, and uh, that, that's what you do. You got to. Um, you try too hard, you try to be too precise and everything where you should be doing things just natural. Mm. So for me, I, got, I had my advice from Bob Pays was to get greedy. You know, he said, right. if you're not going, you get greedy. And, uh, you know, I think um, not the same with Mo. You know, I think it's to be greedy and all that. And weirdly enough, um, every time when he, when he scored that goal, just before he scored the goal, I was shouting to pass. <laughs> you know, yeah. I think shouting pass, but it, it was absolutely, he caught the keeper out, he took it early, caught the keeper out. And I think his reaction after that just goes to show, yeah, I'm back now. And that could be the decisive thing to win the league. With Mo coming back on the song and everything, uh, hopefully uh, he, he can make the difference. If Liverpool do go on and win the league, it'll probably be because of the change at the other end that they'll win it because of how strong they become defensively and particularly yeah. the addition of Virgil van Dijk I'm always surprised in the way when I hear your vintage the, yeah. that great Liverpool players talking about van Dijk and comparing him with Alan Hansen and comparing him favourably like, yeah. would, would you go along with that? Yes 100% I think he's a fantastic player he's uh, for me he's most probably player of the year at Liverpool and if we win the league you know normally you get a striker getting player, uh, player of the year and all that but you've got defender and he's he's been absolutely amazing not just there, but his presence, his organisation, you know, I think he's been absolutely fantastic, his organisation and all that. And, and um, I just believe, uh, you know, he's a massive difference and all that. But I think last year or the year before, we were scoring goals, but letting goals in. This year, we're scoring goals, but we're not letting goals in. And as you said, uh, that is a major factor that Liverpool are in the position that they're in now. It seems as though they've got over the questions about the Anfield atmosphere as to whether it was suffocating. Obviously, the record at Anfield in the last couple of years is, yeah. is incredible, two years since the defeat. What, what, what's your sense on that? Can it, can it be too much at times? That There's the odd straight pass in the entire... There's such an air of expectancy. Like, do you think the players, that that can play a, a negative factor as much as a positive one? I think um, maybe two months ago, people think that, but now they don't. I think because even when they go a goal behind, as they've proven now, they can come from a goal behind and win. So I think the, the fans don't get as... Uh, um, as worried as what they were maybe two, three weeks ago, uh, three months ago, were weirdly enough. But I think, now well, these players have got it. If we go a goal behind, these these can pull it back, you know. And I think there's um, the supporters, as they like the 12th man at Anfield anyway, you know. But uh, there's great belief there. Okay, we, if we go go down, that we're going to come back and win. And supporters get behind them. Where if you went a goal down maybe two, three months ago, you, the people may be sighing then, oh, it's the same again. But now that they they believe in that, and uh, the players are reacting to that as well because. Supporters can only do so much. What they, what they see on the field and the players are reacting now. We, they go go down. They try that bit harder to keep on. Mm. And the supporters realise, oh, yeah, they're playing now, and all, and they get behind the team again. And uh, I think that could be a major factor, especially at home. I was going to say fair play for coming over, but this is sure home from home for you at this <laughs> stage, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, come here quite a lot and all that. So it's uh, no, it's, I, I, it's Ireland. Uh, I'm just like being in Liverpool anyway, you yeah, know, yeah. because there's a lot of Liverpool people here and a lot of Irish in Liverpool. So it, it is home from home. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy tomorrow night. Thanks.